Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. You mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Ah, uh, Triss. Sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Hello, Kadetan. Welcome. I'm Colonel Thorne, and as you can see, I'm back with The Witcher 3, Here, and we're going remember, right I can into take it. Care of myself. What are you talking about? The hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but. Siri. She's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Mm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Um... I don't know which spear should I catch them. Yeah, pretty much. Uh... I'm not going to do any ripping. You don't want to tip them off. Let's just go straight from the manga. And keep on the same message. Could I if I were you? Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? She's not ginger, she's red-headed. Like, literally, red. 
Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Yeah, yeah. Poor Marigold. I don't like her, but I know what's coming for her, and it's not good. Ah. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. We gotta go with it, Geralt. Part of you still cares, but I don't, so... And I'm in control. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. Oh. I, it basically makes me want to be sick. Ooh. I don't like you, but I'm so sorry, Trace. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. <laughs> Is that who I hear? Very well. My nails are I'll go see her shortly. Pressured part of me. <laughs> but first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Nail crusted with paint at the minute. <laughs> oh. Have a drink, Witcher. No, not from the likes of you. You could poison it. Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink. Or die. Fine. <laughs> There's a third option. I could kill you and also call everybody who is downstairs to try and kill me. No, thank you. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage. Year of the massacre of Sintra. Stop squirming! <laughs> this little piggy went home! Oh, Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. The hunters are touching Trace, but I haven't been paid. Tell them to release Trace. Um, I don't really want to drag the conversation with this dude too much, so... Just get Still on haven't it. paid me for the witch. Yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. Oh, you bastard! No! This little piggy had none! She's never gonna have nice nails ever again. Don't worry, ever. you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Marigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Meh. 
Witches do anything for gold. Don't know what you're talking about. Tris betrayed me first. Changed my mind. Let her go. No. Not go for the last one. Um. Let's turn this into a tale of betrayal. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No. No more. I can't. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Oh, bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites! Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. Why are you dragging this you out? You're such me, a Geralt. dick. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? Free my friend Dandelion. It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I've a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. Why? What so did you do? sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. Okay, I don't like Marigold. She's hot-headed, and clearly, because she just killed a guy. But come on, Geralt knew she was going to do something. He shouldn't have said yes, he should have said not yet, but then she would have tortured him. Uh, either way, he was going to die, but... I don't think Geralt showed a lot of, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Not good intent. Not morale either. Yeah. I don't think he did the right thing there, but okay. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle, dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order, in person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... <sighs> Too late now. What's done is done. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable, and Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. Let's search Menga's body, necromancer seems to connect on help. No. Menga burned a sheet of paper. I don't think... Mm, it might have been important, actually. Don't know. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us.
Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. bring up necromancy. He's gonna make me bring up necromancy, but I'm gonna do it last. Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Oh, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunken that low just yet. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Maybe breaking dandelion out is not only on option. Yeah. Breaking dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But what in do this I? case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. We'll find Anyone a way. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived, it almost cost me my life. Yeah. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bibervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. I still need to find the bank. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. She's going to walk out through the front door, sneak out the witch's, the hunter's outpost, find a way out of the witch hunter's outpost. Isn't that fun? I either go out another way, or ready my sword. Geralt, over here! This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Of course you do. Fun. Uh-uh, not before I loot, lady. You're having too much fun there, Triss. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Going, Not going, gone. Have to find a way out. See you, Trace. Tell Dijkstra. Stuck. Am I actually full on stuck? Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who's Roven again? 
Oh, we can take sure. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. Geralt! <laughs> will you stop following me already? I will, as soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menger didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. <laughs> badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? Not First exactly. Off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Yeah, I'm thankful little bastard. No witticism in passing. I don't really care about the reward. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. What Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't dare to share that information with me. You'll get your treasure back, won't you? How'd you find out? Doesn't really matter. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. Not a liar, I just had other things to do. And the final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Don't come running to me then. Simple. Okay. Go talk to Priscilla. I love Priscilla so much, she's so cute. Priscilla! Charming Priscilla. Go. Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating. Pretty sure when it comes to a pretty woman. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. No, They're kind of cute. I think, I think they would be cute together. Dandelion. I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri. Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Horson Jr. it is. Is it Horson Jr.? Do we want to do it in order or do we want to go for least possible danger? I think when I go to the arena I have to do some more fighting so I'd rather not do it just yet. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. Ooh. 
I'm all my chance in the arena. Come in. Who's in charge? Ego. I call him Hook. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. <laughs> Carol, I love you so much. Come on, get ready. Your turn now. I am ready. Don't want to fight. Oi! Remember our deal. I switched this sword for a last one. You need to hold on for a moment. <laughs> There's your coin. That's it. We agreed on more. Take your scissors. I need Hello, work. Puppy. What can you do? Good with a sword. Wouldn't scoff at working as protection. And who here would you protect? Someone's gotta keep fucking check. Don't. I think if you go sly, it might be easier. Crowds can spin out of control. Somebody's gotta keep the peace. Hmm. Claim any kind of experience. I've done my share of fighting. Wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Yes. Sometimes. Why not come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. Hmm. I'll have to test you. I want to see how you manage in a fight. If you can fight at all. You shall fight in the arena. Survive three bouts, and I'll put you to work. <laughs> Fine. I want to, but fine. Already have. Shall we start right away, or do you need time to prepare? Always prepared. Excellent. Let's see what you're worth. Remember, you fight to the death. The crowd doesn't take kindly to those who spare their foes. Let's you said it's not fist fighting. If it's fist fighting, I'm no good at it. Ready your purses! Betting is open! From the Far East, where a man's life is worth less than a cup of water, our Witcher, a murderous mutant, his opponent, Witcher Brown, a man who cut his wet. way out of his mother's womb with a knife, as ever, a fight to the death! Geralt, I pressed the dodge button. to kill a single one of these yet. Shoot. Oh. 
slightly cheating. Back in the ring to prove you made you'd make a body guard. God. Come to bear. It's just a bear. No, get out! Tell me a true bruise had come to the arena. Would you believe it? They were right. Um. Who are you? Thanks. I'd like to know who's congratulating me. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Came here to end me, and you've no notion what I look like. Well, we've not had enough. Now. Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards. Don't stand there like a sodden prick at a wedding. Master the men and get out those magics. And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? Nope. You heard the man. Kill him. Um, I mean, it's a little hard to kill. I shouldn't say that, should I? Let me save before... I need to fix my sword. I want to kill this dude first. Oh, split in half. Okay, I need to fix my sword. That's kind of annoying game wise, but never mind. Eagle first. Oy, oy, oy. That's my last swallow. Since there's been mis um, since there's been some misunderstanding lately about the val valuables, and a bit of blood's been spilt for no ploughing reason whatsoever, I'd like to re reassure you: all the coin is safe and sound in the lockbox. The blind asshole who thought it was missing was looking in the wrong place. Walk down the corridor leading from the upper level towards the arena. Turn so your backs to the grating and look to the wall opposite you. If you've eyes to see, you'll find what you're looking for. Let me emphasize that Wilson Jr.'s crowns have not been touched. Not a single cop is missing. I swear on my own handsome head that they're secure and waiting to be picked up. Eagle. Horson Jr. King Radovid is unhappy with your performance. You were to rid the city of the other members of the so-called Big Four, yet not only do they still live, but they also now know of your role in their attempted assassination. That was not our arrangement. For the time being, hide in the place which the messenger delivering this mess missive will indicate to you and stay out of sight. His Majesty lives in the hopes that mutual between the other members of the Big Four 
job which you attempted yet flood so badly. The evil M. Extra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Those of you that don't know what the evil M is from, it's a cartoon called. Uh, what is it called in English? Arthur and the Invisibles, I believe it's called in English. I usually watch it in German because my favourite, the, the singer from my favourite band voiced the main character in the German edition. And you know, I'm trying to learn the language so probably watching a film in German helps. I don't know how true that is, but I do. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit's out of luck. I think you're about to let me in. By all means, please. And you, wish me luck. Luck be with you at the tables. <laughs> Time is it? It's really dark outside. Hmm. Looks like rain. Very perceptive of you, Geralt. Oh, so perceptive. Leave me be. Another word out of you, and I'll take you upstairs. No. Is there an upstairs? There must be an upstairs. Why can't I see today? I must have messed around with screen wheel. Oops. I'll have to check that out later. Is it you I'm looking for? Play cards with the kids Oh, I don't want to play Gwent! Uh. How much money do I have to lose? 1,769, okay. Cards lining up today? A mutant? What the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead or other shitsheads around here? <sighs> nope, no monsters. Great opportunity to play some cards. Clever man, eh? All right, we'll play, provided you've coin. I do. This take. They've got the best powder in the city right here. Just want to play. Oh god. That's a lot of money. I'm definitely going to lose. If you insist. I believe I will plow your ass like a cheap horse. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, frick! Okay. I think I put all my high cards in the deck. I'll play one game and then I'll do the rest off screen. I'll go first. Choose a card to redraw. Okay. This one. And this one. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna play all my cards this turn. I'd rather lose one.
What was that? He's probably gonna play all those cards now. He has a 10? What? Fridge! I just sent Siegfried on the front line to be. There's no way I'm winning this. This do pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. What does fog card do? No, thank you. That's a crappy card to have. I need a new deck. He has five cards and he's really strong cards. There's no way I'm gonna win. I just lost 50 coins. I don't even know if this is the right dude. Use Eater card, I guess. That was completely and utterly a fluke. Oh my god! I'll not play you anymore. You're bad luck. Go ruin someone else. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Unlucky at cards, lucky in love. Beans of Azima. The word is okay. it's more like a pigsty. Um ah. I'm going to leave this part here and I'm going to do the rest of the betting off screen. Hopefully nothing happens. I'll save in between each, so if something does happen, I'll be able to just quickly go through the Gwent next time, at the beginning of the next one, and hopefully get on with whatever happens next. So, yes. I hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, then give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Until next time. Duh!